my name is Gabe Zona. This is the 13th of March, 2019. Just read a rather informative article posted on International. Went up on the 12th of March, 2019. Titled, Ethiopian Airline CEO Pilots Had Flight Control Problems. Let me repeat that. Ethiopian Airline CEO Pilots had flight control problems. You think the FAA might do what they should have done a few days ago? Shut down those airplanes from flying? Pilot asked to return to base, CEO says. The pilot of the down Ethiopian airline flight had flight control problems shortly before the fatal crash, according to the company's chief executive. Hmm. You know what could cause that problem? Angle of attack sensor. Wanting to pitch the nose down, which is why the plane went from 2,600 feet to 1,200 feet. A recorded conversation with air traffic control detailed the final moments of the flight. CEO Tawaldi Gormamariana told CNN's Richard Quest on Tuesday. There's a couple of related videos you might want to take a look at. Quote, he was having difficulties with the flight control of the airplane, so he asked to return to base, Gormamariana said. He added that the pilot was granted permission to return to ground. That happened at the same time the flight disappeared from radar. All 157 people aboard the 737 MAX 8 died when it crashed soon after takeoff from Adidas Ababa on Sunday. It was the second time in less than six months that a 737 MAX 8 was involved in a fatal incident after a Lion Air flight from Indonesia went down in October. Gerber Marian said the Ethiopian Airlines pilot had received additional training on the flight procedures involving the 737 MAX 8 after the Lion Air crash. We believe the similarities are substantial between the two crashes, Gerber Mani said, adding that both incidences featured new models of the same airplane and both flights lasted only minutes before the plane went down. Both crashes are still under investigation, and there's no evidence that they are linked in casualty. Garbamani declined to say whether he thought all Boeing 737 MAX aircraft should be grounded across the globe, though he noted that Ethiopian Airlines has grounded its fleet of MAX 8s. He also pointed out that several countries, including China, Australia, United Kingdom, are not allowing MAX 8s to fly either. We don't yet know the exact cause of the accident, and speculations is not helpful in either way, Gerbermani said, but I think there are questions without answers on the airplane. The black boxes from the Ethiopian airplane had been recovered, which will enable investigators to learn more about the cause of the crash. Gerbermani said Ethiopian's Minister of Transports will work in the United States, where Boeing is based. To find a place to examine that data, Ethiopia does not have the necessary equipment to perform those tasks on its own, he added. All right, so now we know that this pilot experienced flight control issues. We know the airplane went from 2,600 feet to 1,200 feet, not by input from the pilot. Again, I don't know exactly what happened. We hopefully will find out what happened. But what's mind-blowing to me is that the FAA still maintains they're safe to fly when Boeing said they've made software fixes. We need to know where those software fixes were applied. Were they applied at the sensor in question? I don't know, but we need to know. Personally, I believe that's exactly what the issue is. The attitude access sensor. Folks, stay off those planes until we find out what the fix is. 
And I've said this in previous videos, I do not believe that the aircraft has an inherent problem. I believe it has a software issue that needs resolution. Or it could actually be a component issue that needs resolution. Hopefully the black boxes from both of those devastating crashes will tell us which component is the culprit. And to continue allowing these planes to fly until we know what the issue is, is totally irresponsible by not only the FAA, but by Boeing as well. You want to repost this in your social media account. You want to pass this along to your like-minded friends. You want to ask them to do the same. You might want to send a copy to the FAA and to Boeing's CEO. Thanks for listening.